so we are here for one new topic in wireless how we can create a dscp pool in wireless LAN controller most of the time we create a dscp se uh, server separately in the network and that provides the ip address to our client okay and to APS as well <coughs> but today we are going to configure our dscp server making dscp server wireless uh, LAN controller itself okay which will provide the ip address to ap pc and users as well okay so let's quickly do one by now currently you see that the uh, where, uh, ip address of this wlc 192.168.1.1 and it's providing ip to pc 1.3 and providing IP to uh, access point 1.4 and many more. Okay, so let's change the DHCP pool and get the IP address, new IP address. Okay, how we can achieve it? Just go to web browser. As I already told you, that we have uh, created a separate video to set up a wireless network in packet tracer video link you can get in the description below or in the i button of this video okay so in this video you will get only the dscp server how we can create dscp server in wireless LAN controller so just type the ip address of wlc with https and login login credential or default as I have kept okay so you can see the console of the WLC so go to wireless here you can see one AP address AP connected and now go to controller and internal dscp server tab okay just click on arrow and dscp scope so you see that there is already one dscp server created so let's create new one and delete this one okay so i'm just creating take key dscp okay and click on apply <coughs> again click on this name that you provided new dscp server pool start address give the first ip address that you want to assign to dscp client so i'm just giving the in the range of 1.1.1. i want to give first five and end pool pool end address so you can give last address like 1.10 okay network 1.1.1.0 and net mask 255.255.255.0 least time that's is that is uh, one day you can modify if you want but you can keep it same okay default router you can provide default router address as per this topology there is no default router but you can still if you want to give then you can give to the address of this wlc okay because this address you are going to configure on this management interface dns domain name domain name if you can go give but this is not supported in packet tracer dns server you can provide 8.8.8.8 and that's it now click on apply okay and uh, go to uh, just uh, delete this dscp server previous one okay and go to interfaces 
interfaces you see this management interface IP address of this management interface is default IP address let's change it and netmask we will keep it same and gateway gateway is also same okay and click on apply so it's prompted to uh, like uh, please make sure that you have configured ap manager on all ports otherwise the controller behavior will be unpredictable are you sure to continue yes click on ok once you click on ok you will lose the connection because the ip address you were getting in this pc getting from the dscp server if you click again you see request timeout so now your ip must be changed so click on ip configuration and static and then again dscp this time you are getting the this ip okay and uh, let's get the ip address in the access point and this will also change the ip address you see it loses the connection to users and it will change its ip address if it is not automatically then you can change it manually by removing power source and then connecting power source so this will reboot the ap and the ap will request the new ip address from the dscp server okay so let's wait to ip assigned in this ap so its ip address is also assigned in this ap as well and uh, the users will connect uh, shortly so let's wait for some time and now you can see users are also connected and these users will get the ip address as well after some time okay currently these are not getting but it they will get the ip address from the dscp server 